Hello, I am Lehti Saag. I am a PhD student in the University of Tartu in Estonia. And I am Kristina Tambets, a senior scientist at the Institute of Genomics in the University of Tartu. For us, one of the most fascinating topics in science is the study of human diversity and the processes shaping it through time and space. Studying ancient DNA makes it possible to pinpoint the moment in time when the genetic components that we see in modern populations reach the area, since instead of predicting past events based on modern genomes, we are analyzing the DNA of individuals who actually lived in a particular time in the past. Together with geneticists and archaeologists from Estonia, Belgium, Russia, United Kingdom and Sweden, we present the results of our study of the prehistory of the populations living on the eastern shores of the Baltic Sea in current biology on the 9th of May 2019. The genomes of present-day Europeans can be described as consisting of three ancestral genomic components, which are present in different proportions all over Europe and are inherited from European hunter-gatherers, Anatolian early farmers and from steppe pastoralists. It takes an additional component, the one from Siberia, to describe the genetic heritage of most of the European Uralic speaking populations living today in Northern Europe and speaking Finnish, Estonian and other Finnic languages. The gene flow from Siberia can be best seen in the paternally inherited Y chromosomes. Almost half of the men from these populations carry Y chromosomes shared with Western Siberians. Five or more percent of the rest of their genome is also from Siberia. To date the arrival of this component in the Eastern Baltic, we studied the ancient DNA of Bronze and Iron Age individuals from two archaeologically well-characterized and very different cultural layers in Estonia. From the 3,200-year-old Late Bronze Age stone cyst graves and from the 2,200-year-old Early Iron Age Tarant graves. Archaeologists believe that the stone cyst graves are the derivatives of Scandinavian cultures, but the roots of the Tarant graves lead us to the Volga Ural region. We found that the people of the Bronze Age in the Eastern Baltic were phenotypically already very similar to present-day North Europeans, mostly with light skin, hair and eyes, and lactose tolerant. We also see an increase in the hunter-gatherer component in their genomes compared to late Neolithic people, but with no sign of Siberian ancestry yet. The Siberian component does appear in the early Iron Age individuals. What is more, the timing of the arrival of the Eastern gene flow is in the same time window with the arrival and diversification of the westernmost Uralic languages on the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea. Our study looking into the prehistory of the Eastern Baltic is an example of the transdisciplinary research where the knowledge provided by geneticists, archaeologists and linguists tells the same story about the processes that have shaped the heritage of the people in the region.